All right, so we've got these components, um, but we haven't really used them. So how do we actually implement these components into our app, right? So I showed you how you can replace the bootstrap component, the main app component, but I haven't shown you how to actually bring one of these components into your app. Now, the biggest hint I'll give you right now so you can start thinking is this selector. This selector and some HTML. So we've already seen these things work, but what if I wanted to add in something here? I can just do video dash list, close off that video list, save it. And what do you know? Well, I gotta, I gotta run something here. So we'll do ng serve. Let's make sure we do that. Of course, I'm gonna let it build and it's build or built, excuse me. And I can refresh in here and check it out. Video list works. So this is actually how I can bring in other selectors. Now let's ignore the logic for a second, but I'll do video detail and also put this in here. So I save that, go back into Chrome and boom, these things are working. So my component here, I can add in a title saying to something, right? I've got my video list component tile and in here I'll just say title. We save that refresh in here and something very easy very very powerful i mean if you are familiar with angular js or um, using jquery to do something like this it's really challenging to do um, so that's where angular really shines it, it makes things really really simple for us and how we can combine things into any given item okay so that's pretty cool. That's how we can actually bring in our selectors into another component. Um, I'm gonna leave it at this because um, in the next one, we're gonna start talking about more functional things than what we've done so far. Stay with us.